Over a billion people are estimated to live in poverty around the world. That's a billion people living on less than $2 a day. Poverty reduction is one goal that almost everyone can agree on. Last year's United Nations Sustainable Development Goals set 169 separate development targets to be met by the year 2030, with poverty reduction as a principal goal. But how do we actually track progress towards these goals? Right now, our ambitions exceed our capabilities. Most countries don't collect much data, and scaling up traditional household survey-based data collection efforts will be expensive. What if less conventional data sources could help shed light on these development outcomes? That's what our project does. We combine high-resolution satellite imagery with powerful machine learning algorithms to predict how rich or poor specific locations around the world are. But standard machine learning approaches to interpreting imagery work best when they have lots of data. Think millions of labeled images. Unfortunately, there are few places in the world where we can tell the computer with certainty whether the people living there are rich or poor. Our solution is to combine high-resolution daytime imagery with images of the Earth at night. Places that are brighter at night are usually more developed. We use this night light data to help us find features in the higher resolution daytime imagery that are correlated with economic development. Without being told what to look for, our machine learning algorithm learns to pick out many things that are easily recognizable, such as roads, urban areas, waterways, and farmland. These features summarize the huge amount of information in each satellite image. The final step is to use these features to predict village-level wealth, as measured in surveys. We do this in five African countries, Uganda, Tanzania, Nigeria, Malawi, and Rwanda. We find that our method does a good job predicting the distribution of poverty. In fact, a better job than any existing approach that we know of. Since it's cheap and scalable, requiring only satellite images, it could be used to map poverty around the world helping aid organizations to distribute funds more efficiently and policymakers to enact and evaluate policies more effectively.